Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Nick Nitra here. After a long hiatus, I apologize. Been busy with medical ninja school, everything like that. But what brought me back here? People have been flooding my inbox with a bunch of links saying, "Hey, new Cybot trailer, new Cybot trailer." <laughs> I guess you all know me so well, so. Everybody's already seen it. It's now my turn. I've tried my very hardest not to see it till I got back to the dojo. Here I am recording it so you get to see me uh, watching it for the very, very first time. And well, let's see how awesome this is going to be. <laughs> okay. The feeling is mutual, brother. Mother would be so proud. First things first, let's point out, okay, I was not expecting the voice change for Noob Saiba. I was expecting to hear his, like, you know, the typical old uh, actor for Bihan to uh, have the Noob Saiba voice, but having this new Wraith Grim Reaper-like voice, it gives it such an ominous feeling. That is a nice change that I definitely, like, I definitely take notice to, so let's go for it. Fight! Okay. I love it, I love it. The clone's back, that's good. Oh. oh, it teleports! It teleports! Okay, the unblockable ball is still there. Oh, that's a sick grab. Another I like Yo, is this a Linkway Laboratory? Holy cow, okay. So another stage to add to the roster stage. Oh, that is a sick combo. I know what I'm learning. Oh, that question blows also, okay. Oh, that's why the clone actually hangs over there. Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, what? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I need to rewind that. Did, did Noob Saiba just like literally just drop kick him there? That is so sick. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, okay. There it is. What fatality do you have? How creative are you? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Oh! 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 Fatality. Noob Sun wins. What? Oh, no, no, that was. All right, guys, I, I think I found my main. Yep. Yes, and I mean my main, like, you know, the horse main. No, no, I think I... Holy cow. Okay. Let, let's let's rewind that trailer a little bit. A couple of things that I want I want to point out that I, I didn't want to say during the trailer. Uh, one is that... Um, one, I, I love his sickle. I, I actually thought it was going to be, like, a sickle, like the Kama sickle, like, in Japan. But this is, like, a pr pretty much, like... Egyptian Grim Reaper Anubis like sickle. I like that. It gives, you know, Noob Saibot the Grim Reaper vibe, which, you know, he was always known for. And, uh, a couple things. Um, right, right there. I, I noticed, like, um, his sickle. It's like, you know how, like, people always put their weapons on their back and for some reason it's just magically floating there? For him, his sickle is actually going into his back, but, like, kind of like phasing through it like a shadow. So, that I like. Tiny details like that. That makes it so cool. I mean, like, like for Scorpion, his swords actually go into the sheath on his side, so it's not just floating in midair like the previous games. Or like, at least with Sub Zero, when he summons his ice weapons, he creates the ice weapons first, uh, uses them, and then destroys it, and then it doesn't come back anymore until he summons it again. And uh, everybody else kind of had like you know a gun holster and whatnot. And I've always, that's always been my pet peeve. People who like just put their weapons on their back, you know, and just floats in midair. I'm looking at you, Cloud Strife, with your Buster Sword, you know. Uh, like it's always annoyed me a little bit because like, I wonder how did that? Is there like a magnetic holster right there or something? It just never made sense here. That tiny detail where his sickle is actually going through his back, and you can see it like 
poking through his chest, but like not in a way that's like stabbing it, but it's like phasing through him because he's a shadow. And I like tiny details like that. Uh, next, like uh, he has his teleport back. I, I like that. So that's that was a, a staple of Noob Saibot back from uh, Mortal Kombat 9. And I like that fact that he can still zone with his shadows, which is another staple of him. Why some people called Noob Saibot a, zon a zoner. He can still, you know, summon his shadow to put pressure, but he can also teleport to fight against zoners. So Noob Saibot, very versatile character. He has a very large, not, he doesn't have a lot of tools, but he uses his tools in a variety of ways that can really help him, you know, manipulate the situation and put the fighting to his advantage. And this is going to make Noob Saibot definitely a lot of fun to play. Definitely got to make it my main. To be honest, I'm not too big of a fan of like, let's go back here with his look right here, his his hood. You know, his Grim, yeah, like his uh, Grim Reaper-like hood. It's kind of like a Bishop Grim Reaper, you know, whatnot. Uh, yeah, right, right here, right here. See right here. It, it, it's, you know, I, I'm not too much of a fan of that, but thank goodness to, you know, the the customization uh, in, in the game, you know, the variation customization, I can definitely change his look there, so I can definitely make a more ninja looking like Noob Saibot, like he always was back from Mortal Kombat 3 and the Mortal Kombat trilogy, so that's gonna be definitely a lot of fun. Love the tiny details with all the shadows resonating for him. And once again, <laughs> I love the voice change. You know, some people may like it, some people may hate it. I, for one, this ninja definitely likes it. And uh, definitely going to be able to love to see the different introductions that you noobs can do here. You me. The feeling is mutual, brother. Mother would be so proud. And look, see that the edginess of her, where, you know, he's like being sarcastic even after death. You know, it's definitely uh, a guy that you know who's he's definitely not the nicest person ever which is what i loved about bihan's attitude that's how it pretty much was he was never the nicest guy he never really liked people he never really you know cared much about you know society or the human race and so when he became a wraith it's like as though he got for him it wasn't really much of a him becoming a slave to the nether realm for him he just got an upgrade and that was why he uh, use the shadows in a way where you know it's to his advantage and that's why the nether realm doesn't control him he controls the nether realm so i like all those things so let's watch the trailer one more time and let's just enjoy it at its fullest without any pausing so here we go Fight. <laughs> So good. Fatality. <laughs> Noob Cybot. And I love the winning post here. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, okay, so that was my my take on it, my opinions. Definitely going to be excited to play this game when it comes out. I'll also be streaming and recording the beta when it comes out next week, March 28th. Uh, 10 a.m. for Pacific Standard Time. So in my time, it's going to be March 29th, 2 a.m. I have Medical Ninja class that following day. I don't care. I'm going to play this. So that's going to be fun for me. So until then, hopefully catch you all in the next stream and the next video. And this is your Grandmaster Nick Nitro, keeping a ninja. Yeah.